Today we are at two places at the same time. We are in Noordwijk in Vinkeveld and we are in Denmark Aarhus because today we're gonna get some help from the trickshot expert that you can find on the internet. Hi Sven, my friends. Today I'm gonna show you five different shots to do at the net when you receive the ball from a smash. And we're gonna go from easy to difficult. We'll just start right now. Okay. And we have seals on just tunnel.com. I like it. You like it? Good match. So what I have a lot in the match is that people play this smash it ends up bouncing here and i just do <laughs> over the net there are many challenges if it comes down to trick shot it's not only the, tr the trick shot itself but also when to use what trick shot so the first question is how do you decide what trick shot you should do so you're gonna face the glass you're gonna smash try to adapt to where the ball is gonna get so if it's gonna be in this position it might be easier to put it to the net if it's gonna be here it might be easier to um, put it down the middle or over to the fence okay so start very easy and then build it up it can always get harder and in the end we're going to do the backhand smash out so here smash there it's going to be here it's easier to get it down the line and if we get it here well might be easier to put it back to your own side and we'll take another trick so here, there, and a backhand. Smash out. If it gets a little bit higher, I would go for the smash out. The second one is, and for me this is complicated, how do you know how close you are to the net? Because you cannot touch the net. Uh, but how do you, do you have, how, how do you stay so calm when it comes down to the, the flick? How do you know where you are? Because maybe you do the flick and you're here and you just play to the ground. In the beginning, we're gonna do this as a static thing. That means that we're not gonna do the whole running part. We're just gonna stand here, get comfortable around the net because it depends on where you're gonna stand, what kind of shot you're gonna do. So it's easier to just stand at the net, find out, okay, I have this much space when I do the backhand. I'm gonna arch a little bit on my back. And you know, do a lot of things to not touch the net. Because if you touch the net with your racket, with your shoes, with anything, you're gonna lose the point. Okay? There. And put it to the net. So no need to make it more difficult than this. Just smash. Look where the ball is. You can kind of, when the ball comes here, you can kind of see where the net is. You can see where your opponents are. And then put it down. And that maybe goes to the third question is, how do you avoid touching the net? Because you might up ending touching it like this or just to stand on it a little bit, or when you flick it, you can also touch the net. So you need to wait, I think quite long to hit the shot, but you have to be extremely patient in a very stressful situation. I think that requires some skill. So I'm also thinking, Frederik, is how did you train this? What you need to be aware of here is that you don't step on the net, you don't hit down here, but you have to kind of grab your racket as far down as possible so you can get over the ball with your wrists. So if you receive it in this area, I would go for the smash out because then you finish the point. So what you see here, boom, and over and out very easy just get over it also as high as you can hit it the less risk is there to touch the net with your racket you don't need to swing all the way just get over it and then touch it out you see if you want to get a little bit fancy with the finish we can try to up the uh, difficulty okay and that's what i like to do so we can do the domilona the domilona is where you put it it means to put it to sleep. So you either just put it to the net like this with your forehand, or you can also do like a backspin to put it to the net like this. The way you practice it 
is you smash and try to aim uh, for this height and then you choose if you can do the forehand domolona or the backhand and then you either brush it or you just put it to net like this. So I smash here, there, brush it to net or I smash here, there and put it to net. When you do the domolona it's kind of hard to see where the net is and it's something that you have to practice a lot. You are kind of looking at the ball here, you can kind of glance the net uh, with your right eye, but it's kind of hard to see. So this is something that takes a lot of practice. You have to do this a lot. You're gonna get more familiar with the net before you do the match. Stand here, here, Ooh. okay. To do the backhand domlona, you need to change your grip. So right now I'm holding it continental. I'm gonna close it a little bit so it's easier for me to brush the ball up, kind of like a U. If it's in continental, it's gonna be like this, and I'm gonna hit it instead. So here, close it a little bit so it's easier to brush it and make it go a little bit back, you know? So you can practice it like this. Ooh. Gain the spin. No need to overdo it, you don't have to get it back into the net. If you get it here, it's perfect. So play a little bit with less risk. If you finish around here, it's still good because there's a long way from your opponents to get to it. So what you do is smash, boom, change your grip and brush it. If it's up high, do like a little bit of brush here. If it's down low, follow the ball woo, and brush. The thing with the domlona, when you do the backhand domlona is you don't need to touch it a lot. You should actually just like brush it a little bit so it gains backspin back to the net. So the last question is, please teach me that backhand out of the court because I don't have it, so uh, show me, please. So now I'm gonna teach you my favorite shot and it's the backhand smash out. And I think I'm gonna put you over here because then you can see how cool it is, okay? So, yes. Here, Sven, my boy. Right now I'm gonna choose the easiest way and that is to get it over the three meter fence from the left side, cross over there, okay? So, you're gonna practice it. In there and out. Okay, so um, I'm gonna learn quick how I do this shot. You smash it, or your opponent smash it. You run up to the net, place your right foot if you're right foot, if you're right, right handed, <laughs> left foot if you're left handed, yes. Not too close because then you're gonna hit the net. Your left foot on your toes or off your toes. Rack it up high. Um, open it a little bit. Up high. Elbow high here. And follow the ball and out. Okay. The easiest thing is to get it over the fence here on the three meter. Um, and it's also the safest way. At least when you play the left side. And as you can see, I lifted up my leg a little bit. That was because it was very close to net. So I couldn't get my arch here. So sometimes you can just like lift it up and... I'm gonna teach you the technique for the backhand smash. In another video. But here. There. There. I didn't hit that very well, but it went out. So it's very easy to get success with. I'm gonna do my elbow higher, focus on that. Wow! I hit the ceiling. Ah, that was nice. Elbow up. Boom. Oh. And the other thing that Frederik said is that you have to hold it. And I think I do this too much. High elbow. Ah, oh, bami pangang. No power at all. Up, Pumba! You don't have to hit it so hard because if you just do a little, if, if you do, it goes out. So you need to have this, that high elbow, 
to get it down. So that works quite that works quite well, but you do need to go for a short angle because then you don't need so much power. If you go for over the four meters or very cross court, very deep, uh, it takes too long for the ball to get out. So that, that works quite well. So you do need to this, and then short is, is great, but I need to get more relaxed like uh, Frederik. This is, I moved, so then you lose all the... Oh, sorry. Punto para mí. Salida de la pista, tío. So that's how you practice the trick shots on your own. I hope it was useful. I hope, yeah, to see it in the match. So uh, good luck. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm gonna be here for one hour practicing my backhand smash. If you want to see more videos about the trick shots with Frederick, then let me know below. We're also going to post some parts on Instagram, which it's been booming lately. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios.